a lot to get into here, but I would like to talk about three, three cameras that I am excited to shoot with in 2023. The first one I would like to talk about is the, probably the, it's probably the weirdest camera that I have in my collection. The Abomination Sony camera that Sony never built. It is a camcorder looking camera, but let me tell you, it does not shoot video. In fact, it only shoots still photos in 35 millimeter format. Now that being said, it also, for some strange reason, records audio tape as well, or plays it. I really don't know, I haven't even put batteries in it, but I, I saw this thing and I did not believe it to be true. And quite honestly, I bid on it on an auction without ever intending on winning it. And here we are. It has this weird viewfinder thing. It's like a top-down view. Oh, I just poked the microphone. Uh, it's a weird top-down viewfinder thing. Uh, it appears to maybe have a light or a flash of some sort on it. There is a DC three volt thing up here. There's a speaker on this side. So presumably the volume is for playback and it has this uh, LCD panel on the back. It has a film rewind button, an on and off switch, and it appears maybe a night mode, which probably just turns the flash on, I'm guessing. I gotta get batteries for this thing to check it out, but you can shoot it apparently looking through it like this. God, that is awful. It's gonna make me sick. <laughs> or you can shoot through this stupid little viewfinder screen and oh my God. While it is ugly and it is unconventional, it is inconvenient to say the very least. Uh, I've gotta put a roll through it <laughs> just to say that I did. This next camera that I'd like to talk about is one that I got recently um, from my friend Jeff at the flea market. Um, it is the it is the Samsung Maxima Zoom Alpha. I found some batteries for it, which is a good thing. Zoom works. Um, it actually tells you the focal length that you are at. It goes from 35 all the way to 70. Pretty stoked on that. Excited to shoot this thing. Um, has a macro 35 to 70 millimeter lens, uh, self timer. It just seems like a very solidly built camera. It's not metal, but it's nice heavy plastic. Uh, very, very little signs of usage. So I'm very excited to shoot this thing. Now, the last camera I would like to talk to you about is one that I've had for a while. I found this on Facebook Marketplace, I think probably four years ago, shortly after I moved to Connecticut. And it's a bit of an oddball camera, and that is the Pentax P3. This is a battery-powered SLR, however, it prioritizes your shutter speed. So, inside the viewfinder here, you have a bit of an exposure meter, and it tells you if you're good or not. Uh, as far as your shutter speed goes and then it'll tell you to adjust accordingly But I have shot a lot of film through this camera. It is very reliable aside from the fact that it is battery powered So it relies solely on the battery itself uh, to fire the shutter, but it is such a fun easy camera to use it's kind of mindless you don't have to carry around an exposure meter the light meter inside the camera is fully functioning and it actually works very nicely and I have gotten great results shooting film through this camera I have shot some drift events on this camera and I, I really enjoyed the results so the Pentax P3 is the third camera that I am most excited to shoot in 2023.